We leave you tonight with a stunning sample study. NASA has launched a spacecraft kitted out with Canadian technology to bring back a precious piece of an asteroid that's as old as Earth. Scientists are hoping that once the space dust has settled, they'll have a much better understanding of that big question, how we got here. Here's CTV's John Venavalli Rao. And liftoff of Osiris Rex. At just after 7 p.m. Eastern time, this rocket roared towards the heavens as Canadian scientists watched both in Florida and at the headquarters of the Canadian Space Agency. So tonight is the launch. It's the start of a big mission, but it's an important milestone. On board, a NASA spacecraft with a Canadian instrument, now on its way to an ancient asteroid called Bennu. Larger than the Empire State Building, it crosses the Earth's orbit every six years. And there's a remote chance late in the next century the two could collide. An asteroid scientists want to know more about. Well, we're going out into the unknown, and Bennu is an unexplored world. It'll take the spacecraft, called OSIRIS-REx, about two years to reach Bennu. Once there, the plan is to do a survey, then extend a three-meter arm designed to scoop up a sample of the surface to be brought back to the Earth. I have huge confidence we're going to be successful, but I'm really not nervous at all. The Canadian instrument on board is a laser altimeter that'll help map the asteroid. The Canadian mission manager joking that as a kid, he used to play the video game Asteroids. And now it's my job to shoot lasers at asteroids. It, it never stops amazing me. Because asteroids like Bennu haven't changed much since the dawn of the solar system, studying their makeup could tell scientists a lot about our origins and perhaps had a better judge whether an asteroid's on course to hit us. Security is one of the OSIRIS-REx mission objectives. And if all goes well, the spacecraft will return to the Earth with that piece of an asteroid in about seven years. John Fennavalli Rao, CTV News, Toronto.